How to deal with the power lost or voltage drop in the PoE network? First, if you are working on the standard PoE and the distance between your device and the PoE switch is less than 100 meters, which is 328 feet, you don't need to consider the power lost. However, if you are working on the long range PoE network, or you're working on the fiber optic cables with the PoE, you do need to consider the power loss. There are three parameters to determine the power loss. The first parameter is the power consumption on your device. This small bullet camera definitely consumes less power than this big guy. And this big guy will draw even more power when the infrared LEDs turn on at night you need to find the maximum power consumption on your device. The higher power consumption on your device, the more power loss you will see. And the result is the voltage drop. If the remained voltage at the end of this cable is less than 36.5 volt, the built-in PoE module will stop working since it will enter the low voltage protection mode. The second parameter is the length of the cable. The longer the cable you use, the more power loss you will see. Makes sense. The last parameter is the wire gauge. The k 5 or k 6 Ethernet cable has pretty much the fixed wire gauge. You cannot change it. But just remember, don't use the CCA type cable. Use the solar copper mate k 5 or k 6 Ethernet cable because the CCA type cable will increase the power loss dramatically. By the way, the PoE++ takes four twist pairs to send the power. Technically, it increases the wire gauge. In the next video, we'll talk about how to use the chat GTB to calculate the power loss by using these three parameters.